All right, thank you so much, Jackie. Our medical expert, Dr. Cedric McFadden, is joining us today as we continue to break down the risk for COVID-19, who really needs to pay attention, and really the lesson as we watch the stories unfold and we see these reports, like we just heard about a, a younger person that wound up hospitalized, that 20% of cases that will wind up needing hospitalization. Mm -hmm. um, we all really need to be paying attention here. This is not just something elderly people and complicated health situations need to address. It's not. However, the immediate risk for most Americans remains low. Right. Okay. Uh, but that can change as mm -hmm. the outbreak expands. Though those risks will certainly increase and those risks can be increased with your history of travel or if you're the primary caregiver for someone with a positive case. Anyone can get sick from this epidemic, but different people have different risk for perhaps having more severe illness that we've talked about before regarding their chronic health illnesses that they may have. And, and what, what explains the, the, the seven month old in the Columbia area that wound up hospitalized or, mm -hmm. you know, the things that you don't expect to see because we have heard that it is these sort of more, more known situations, the elderly, the, the health complication mm -hmm. case. Well, when you see the younger patients, you know, keep in mind that just underlying illnesses can also increase the risk of having more severe Ill illnesses, such as lung disease, whether the child or the young adult may have asthma, mm -hmm. or whether or not the young adult or young person may be a smoker or heart disease. Those things still compound on the fact of apparent risk that could then perhaps bring more severe illness. And so when it, when it comes to this and awareness and understanding the risk, who really needs to be paying attention? I mean, should every single person out there be concerned and, and do the social distancing like the authorities are asking us? Okay. So all of us, all of us should have the same concern. However, those concerns heightened based on, you know, those comorbidities or your age. You know, the elderly folks have a sort of higher mortality rate, one out of five, 20%. And so those are risks that you really have to take serious, especially when you're talking about, you know, going out into crowds or not, you know, uh, staying away and having that proper social distance. Oh, you know, you've seen the, the city of Greenville had to, you know, shut down Falls Park for the most part and, and ask people not to be out late at night. Those kinds of things, those measures to keep people um, doing what they're being asked to do. And, and we keep seeing society have to kind of toughen up the rules to make us do what we're supposed to do. What do you think it's going to take for us to pay attention here? I mean, you guys, you medical folks are, are advising us, and it seems like some people are just not listening. Well, I think it's important that we have these stories. We, we show the 26-year-old that gets this disease and, and or this illness, and we have to show that this is a real thing. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a lot of the celebrities coming out, sharing their stories. It, it, it puts a face on it that this doesn't discriminate. I mean, this is, this is an all of us disease. We're all in this together. Absolutely. And, and when it comes to the social distancing, it's all about making it so the medical system can handle the cases, right? Correct. And we're so, trying to slow it down so that we don't have all of these cases show up at once at an emergency room or a hospital. And so we're, so we're stretching the time that these cases will present instead of all at once. We're stretching it so perhaps it comes out over a greater deal of time as opposed to all today. Well, we wish you all the best and we appreciate our health care workers. I know you guys are, are getting busier as the days progress yes. and, and we are pulling for our health care workers. They are our heroes in the midst of this thing. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. You're watching Carolina's Family at Four. We're coming back with live questions for Dr. C at 5 o'clock on Live at 5. So watch that and we'll be right back with more at 4.